all guys, girls, and everything in between. <laughs> Apache helicopter! <laughs> you know, Chuck. <laughs> One day we'll do this properly and actually manage it. We'll do this first try. Yeah. Um, don't worry, I'm just, I'm just playing with my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's so shiny now. Um, so, we are obviously on another road trip. Um, we decided to do it smart this morning. We got up at, what, what did we get up at? Half four? Four, half four. Yeah, and we're on our way to, well, we're heading towards Windermere, because we're off to, well, we're doing roads in the Lake District, aren't we? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start driving, just because we can do both, so. Yes, we can. Um, <laughs> so. Because we can do both crash. <laughs> I can, you can't, you're fucking stupid. Yeah, speaking of which, where's the exit? <laughs> oh, there's an arrow pointing that way, do you think that means? Uh, M62, we want to be going on that road, so follow that sign. Afternoon, or morning. We are, uh, we are doing a, another road trip. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Going to it. Route planning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. So we can go straight up, come yeah. straight back down. Yeah. To go up that way and towards the loop. Yes. You sound confident, so I'll say yes. It's the only three I've found that looks decent, so... He, he's good at geography and stuff. I am not. So, yeah. The advantage is when it goes wrong, and it always goes wrong, it's his fault, not mine. Or not. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. One camper. Another one. All these campers. Isn't it nice? Ooh, that's shaky. Hey, how are you doing? Stabilization! My hand is perfectly still, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> no! I don't like it. Oh, that's a photo, I thought it was, <laughs> that was a flip camera. Um, we've just done route planning and Bob's anchor and I'm not using a GoPro. And I don't know why. Um, where are we going? Uh, <laughs> it's so shaky. <laughs> we're off to, we're off to Pongback. Polybeck. Polybeck. Mm. All I remember is there is a poo bridge at some point. Or it's P Pooley Bridge. But if you remove the L, it becomes Pooey Bridge. <laughs> So now this is a stabilised version that Bob wanted me to do. I'm currently behind an old Aston, but I don't know what it is. But it sounds nice. Aston Vantage. It looks like it is a 2000 punch. Just really put the glasses on. Um, doggy. But yeah, we're, he we're heading up to Doggy. Um, squirrel. He he uh, blah, 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 blah. Heading up to a pool of water. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're heading to Pool Bridge. Uh, what is it? Pooley Water, that was the Yeah, Pooley Water. Or Pooley Bridge. Yeah. We'll have, to have, a, we'll have to have a poo on a bridge. Uh, I'm excited. Off a bridge into water. <laughs> poo stick racing. Oh, I remember I used to get poo stick racing. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's the one time you actually want the floater. <laughs> be really upset if you just shit off a bridge and it sank to the bottom, like, well, I'm going to lose. Um. <laughs> 
<laughs> it emerges two miles down the street. Victorious! Uh, <laughs> and then you see the other one just rolling along the bottom, picking up all the sludge and shit. Oh, uh, and there's a horse. <laughs> horse! Oh! Oh, that's a driving to it. <laughs> Pretty sure the horse will win that fight, to be fair. Look at them thick legs. Um, yeah. So, off for a drive. Bye. <laughs> Is that a lens between your legs or are you just happy to see me? Oh, a 16 degree hill. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a version of that with snakes bit. <laughs> yeah, now you sent me. Is that a snake in your trousers or you're just pleased to see me? It's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. After morning. If we if we sound and look miserable, there's a good fucking reason for it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna let you explain because you know your shit. Uh, so, come to a hill, very small hill. Well, bit of a steep hill, but short. And uh, going 20-ish miles an hour. So, diesel. It can manage doing this. Uh, so, in third. Dropped it to second, it maybe went to two and a half, three thousand RPM. And uh, that was clearly enough to uh, kill the turbo, which, granted, I don't know how old it is or how many miles <laughs> it's done. Um, so the turbo died, uh, dumped a load of oil <laughs> into the exhaust, and I've lost about half a litre-ish. Uh, straight into the exhaust, straight away. So, so we had a nice smoke scream, and obviously panic, etc. But luckily, to be fair, the, the only up, well not upside to it, but the silver lining, I guess, whatever you want to call it, we was on a flat, because we'd just gone up a steep hill, we was on a flat, straightish bit of road. And there was a passing and, place. Yeah, there was a passing place, and um, there, there was an, a really, really nice couple that have pulled over immediately, have helped us with what they could. They've towed us to a car park where we're safe now. But luckily, if it weren't for them, we, we really would have been fucked. But now we're sat here, 
Um, and this is a lesson, make sure you get re car recovery <laughs> breakdown service because this twat didn't. <laughs> so we've called out, well we called two for a quote didn't we? Yeah. One scared us, so we didn't go with them. They seemed dodgy. They, seemed like, like they, were, they were like, oh yes, we, we come and get you now. It's like, oh, I don't want you to. <laughs> just, yes, it's going to be £440. Lol, JK, a thousand pounds. Yeah, yeah. They, they did seem like they were going to add on lots of stuff. And Anyway, so the other quote we got was from the AA who, we've got of an course. assessor coming out within, uh, within, the hour. within the hour to see if they can fix it, which we don't think they can. I doubt it. Yeah, and then obviously they'll book in a recovery van for us if not, and then whenever that is, then we'll head home. But we're about four hours with traffic um, from home. But we, we don't mind. We've got food, drink, we're safe, we've got stuff to charge our phones. Stuff to um, watch. Yeah, so we, we've got entertainment, so we'll, we'll be fine. No toilet, by the way. So you might, the next video might be him shitting next to me in a bush somewhere. Um, <laughs> But other than that, we have oh. a lovely view, which we'll have pictures of. What is it we're on about? We need a, a bucket um. and some sawdust? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we said about it earlier that we wanted to plan this. Um, but yeah, so a quick update. This is the worst trip so far. <laughs> Last time we had a slight issue with the car, which you managed to fix us, kind of. And yeah. th this time I think we're just fucked. It, they, they might be able to fix it, we might be able to go home in limp mode, which would be something, but I, I, we're going to be cautious even, because it's going to be worrying now if we can get home. Even if it's a case of like I don't, I don't know if we can like disconnect the oil feed to the turbo and block it off mm. that way not dumping oil into the exhaust uh, and we could limp at home without the turbo Granted, the turbo will still be spinning and making angry noises. Yeah, but, uh, but it won't be getting home. Oil. Getting home because the the quote we got. They've, they've, they've not been very clear with it because there's lots of little bits here and there that add up to the total cost but we're thinking it'll be five to six hundred quid um, so on at least way. yeah um, so I, had to, I had to start up a, a new policy which <laughs> yeah. was about 110 and then for the nationwide recovery it, just so we can get the car home is uh, I think you said about 380 yeah but there's always going to be the added little bits. But credit to them, they were very good on the phone. They've they they are getting someone out to us soon. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll have another update after that. But I will just let you have a quick look at where we are. Uh, so we've got that in front of us. That over there. Yeah, um, we'll leave it there. And. Um, yeah. We're alive. That, that, yeah. We're alive, we're yeah. safe. That's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so yeah, we'll catch up with you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Rather than wasting our time being awkward about the fact that we broke down, we decided to take a walk with the camera, see what we could find, and we're glad we did because continue to another video where the camera flips around. Smooth transition with no wind noise whatsoever. So we're up here. With Bob there. Ugh. Oh, videoing in portrait, what a dick.
Good morning. Morning. So we woke up. Well, you've you've not slept well, have you? No, you snore like an absolute animal. <laughs> I, I slept really well. <laughs> yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> Makes a nice change. Um, <laughs> but yeah, well, we get, we got like up and about at like what's just gone seven. Yeah, about seven. Um, got washed and stuff. Not that it looks like it. Um, we've got the truck on the way, but they rang you to say it's delayed, didn't they? Or it's message de delayed. Delayed a bit, just purely because of the location. Because. Uh, part way up a mountain pass of course mm. but yeah it's meant to be with us in the next 15 minutes or so from now um, and then once it gets recovered obviously it sounds like they've upgraded it so that the one recovery truck will take us all the way home because the original plan was they drop us off at a service station the next one has a two hour window to pick us up to take us to the next one and so on um, but we're hoping that's not the case yeah hopefully not um. <laughs> Yeah, rations got pretty bad last night. <laughs> we bought food from the pub next door, which is the Lancaster Inn. Is that what it's called? No, uh, it's the Kirkstone Pass Inn. Yep, close. Um, <laughs> fucking Jesus. Bought food from there. Um, they were really nice. They've um, they basically the kitchen was too busy, but because obviously we were here indefinitely, um, they said that they'd do it after everybody else's food, which was nice. And they even left the they have a toilet outside, which they left unlocked. Which, uh, just for us to be able to use. <laughs> Went for the accelerator. It's not going <laughs> to fucking do anything, is it? You get probably just a loose bit. Of yeah, well, it's, it's just keep when it in hard lock ram. It's when you get go from a manual to an automatic, anyway, isn't it? You go, where's the clutch? <laughs> what? Which are? I would drive a manual. No, that's it. I, 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 th this is automatic, but I have to drive manual for work. Oh. Like that, <sighs> oh yeah. Just keep it like that. Yeah. So I'm just trying to like hold it on. Yeah, you just hold it on. Yeah. We might have to adjust a little bit. <sighs> My God, we're bad at remembering things. Um, so we've got to do an outro, which, you know, is usually the case. But yeah, we got back uh, sooner than we expected. So we had the swap over from the AA drivers. And then what the second one that arrived to us basically said that if we're happy for him to have a 45 minute break, because he has to have a, after so many hours of driving, if we wait for him to have his break, he can then just take us the whole way rather than us having a third stop off which obviously we decided to do that. Um, so I got loaded up with him. He's brought us back uh, directly to Bob's house for the car to be dropped off there. Uh, got back not long after 5 p.m. Um, so it's pretty good considering, um, but because obviously with everything going on and uh, still a load of stuff to sort out, um, we kind of forgot to do the video. So just thought I'd uh, let you know that update. And like I say, we're both at home now. Um, and yeah. Hopefully we can get the car sorted because it, it it's such a good car. It's a shame to scrap it for any reason, but um, well, uh, I was going to say I say we'll do some work on it. Bob Bob will, and uh, I'll just try and pass him tools because that's as useful as I can be. Um, but yes, so hope you enjoyed the video because we didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching.